Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa witnessed the achievement of Bahraini women in the field of military aviation represented by the first flight of a combat aircraft by his granddaughter, second lieutenant pilot Sheikha Aisha bin Rashid Al Khalifa. Sheikha Aisha took off on the military jet hawk from Sheikh Isa Airbase for one hour. The Prime Minister was keen on attending the event from takeoff until landing. He noted that this historical achievement reflects the perseverance and discipline of Bahraini women in defending their country. The BDF Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, noted that Sheikh Aisha has made a record achievement in the history of Royal Bahraini Air Force. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated Sheikh Aisha, expressing pride in her achievement and commending her determination. He stated that after graduating from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, Sheikh Aisha has paved the way for Bahraini women to participate in the noble duty of protecting the homeland through the Royal Air Force. The Prime Minister noted that the BDF, under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, has always maintained the security, stability, and gains of the kingdom. He hailed its development at all levels. He noted the efforts of the BDF's affiliates in maintaining the security of the kingdom and protecting Arab rights, supporting legitimacy and preventing interventions attempts alongside their brothers in the region. For her part, Second Lieutenant Pilot Sheikha Aisha expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his unlimited support, affirming that his attendance encourages her to exert more efforts to protect the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. She noted that her achievement, which is a first for Bahraini women, is a result of government's provision of a simulating environment for women to practice in all work fields, the most important and noble of which is working at the BDF to protect the security and stability of the country. His Royal Highness received a book titled The First Pilot and the Roy Royal Bahraini Air Force's Progress, written by Lieutenant Colonel Rashid Khamis Zayani, which documents the march of the Bahraini Royal Air Force and the leading role of His Majesty the King in developing its system.
Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received today in the presence of the Minister of Labor and Social Development, the members of the Board of Directors of the new Bahraini Women's Union, headed by Bedrian Marzouk, where Her Royal Highness affirmed that the Council is keen on listening and benefiting from the Women Union's vision and its suggestions through joint work programs to make further achievements for Bahraini women. Her Royal Highness stated that the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is a guarantee to continue increasing Bahraini women gains and to support them in reaching a high status in the national growth and modernization process. She highlighted Bahraini women's effective contributions that coordinate with the national development to witness high levels of achievement in all work fields. Her Royal Highness referred to the Bahraini Women's Day for this year whose official celebration will be held under the patronage of His Majesty the King to celebrate the participation of Bahraini women in the legislative field and municipal work to highlight women's honorable achievements and contributions in those fields which come in coordination with the upcoming parliamentary and municipal elections. She expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Women Union since its establishment and her aspiration to witness further remarkable initiatives to enrich women's march. The board of directors of the Women's Union commended the SCW's continuous efforts that contribute to achieving tangible results that highlight their positive effect and issuing many legislations and policies that enhance the presence of women and their contributions in many fields. The board members also noted Her Royal Highness's keenness on coordinating and consulting with women's union and civil society organizations related to women. The Minister of Housing, Basim Al Hamar, visited today the Salman City housing project to inspect and follow up on its completion process following His Majesty the King's launch of the city and handing over the first three housing units to beneficiaries. Al Hamar announced that the ministry is in the process of launching a tender for the implementation of 2,346 apartments after the completion of both construction work and infrastructure for 3,041 housing units on Island 13 and 14. He stated that the ministry will begin procedures to distribute 2,800 housing units next week after it began distributing it with the beginning of the program of 5,000 housing units ordered by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He affirmed that the project is one of the main projects listed in the government's plan to build 25,000 housing units, which stands from the royal order to build 40,000 housing units. He also added that Salman City is the largest and most developed in the history of housing for providing more than 15,000 housing units, which will accommodate more than 90 thousand people. The Kingdom of Bahrain continues to attend the Asila International Cultural Forum in Morocco. After the opening of the exhibition Foreign Four Art from the Kingdom of Bahrain and the launch of the book 40 Years in Asila, Bahrain presented yesterday a seminar entitled The Citizenship in Bahrain National Charter. The seminar was attended by B President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, Secretary General of Asila Forum, and former Moroccan Foreign Minister Hamad bin Isa, and academic figures, officials, and intellectuals from Bahrain and Morocco. It was organized by Asila from a forum in cooperation with the Rasat Center and was attended by Chairman of Board of Trustees of the Bahrain Center for Strategic and International Studies and Energy, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King's media advisor, Nabil bin Yagoub al Hamar, special envoy of the Royal Court, Samira Rajab, Sausan al Sha'ar, and professor of political life and international relations at the University of Qari Ayad in Marrakesh, Idris Lakrini. Mohammed bin Isa said that the Bahraini National Charter marked the beginning of the new era characterized by modernizing political concepts and practices. His Majesty's media advisor stressed that the National Action Charter has strengthened national unity and that the referendum day on the charter is a historic event marking many achievements in the field of human rights. Samira Rajab said that the National Action Charter established a constitutional life strengthening the economic, social and infrastructure sectors and that Bahraini women exercised their rights alongside men and various aspects of life. Sausan al-Shar affirmed that the National Charter included the rights of citizens and related to political work in Bahrain. Idris Lakrini said that the National Charter in Bahrain is not the first reform in Bahrain, but rather that the kingdom has made reforms in the past, making it a pioneer in the region.
the chairman of the board of trustees of the Bahraini Center for Strategic and International Studies and Energy Dirasat, Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, affirmed yesterday that the National Action Charter represents a comprehensive document drawn up by a king's vision on the present and future of a nation. Addressing the inauguration symposium of the citizenship in the National Charter at its 40th session, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa said the National Charter as structured philosophy laid the foundations of a modern civil state and citizenship rights in accordance with a civilized and modern project led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and constituted a promising start in the process of modernization of state institutions and their constitutional powers. He said that the adoption of the Charter by unanimous and popular consensus constituted a landmark in the history of Bahrain and the region, which included the basic components of society and ensured personal freedoms, popular participation in public affairs and economic fundamentals. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa said the Charter is a national project that is self-contained and re responsive to the people's aspirations, according to which the constitution was amended, the constitutional declaration was announced, and the parliamentary and municipal life was restored on a sound basis by introducing the two-chamber system and the legislative authority, public freedoms, and political association. Civil society organizations were active in parallel with the empowerment and partnership of women, whether in political participation, social and family welfare, or in the highest positions at home and abroad. He also said that the National Charter contributed to the success of the Kingdom of Bahrain and overcoming several challenges.